Okay, sorry, the phone rang. So, you know, when you do things, think about why you're doing it. Is it for your mom? Is it for your dad? Is it for anybody other than yourself? Does the neighbor always ask you to babysit their brats? Or their snake? Or their dog? Or their cat? And you hate animals? That is clouded by crazy. No is a really good word to start using. Seriously. So... Please take into consideration your spiritual being for being here. And if you are a spiritual person, focus on that. Focus on that because there's no sense in you doing something that is really going to go against your spiritual purpose for being here. So you're a singer and you're like, no, my mom doesn't want me to do that. So then you're not a singer and whatever message you would have put in your song to touch somebody to prevent them from killing themselves, you didn't do because you chose not to be a singer, you chose to be a doctor because that's what your mom wanted. Now I'm not saying if you still live at, at your with your parents that you should do what they, you shouldn't do what they say to do. If you live with your parents, you're under, you know, 21, whatever, that's different. This is for people who've like had to go back home and, you know, try and fit in with mom's and dad's new rules, you know. So I'm not talking about just any old average day circumstance. Also, why are you so, you know, gung ho for keeping up with the Joneses? They have a lot of credit card debt and things that they'll never be able to pay off in this lifetime because they're making a minimum payment on their credit card. Now don't get me wrong, you have an emergency, your car breaks down, cool, that's what ch charge cards are for. To buy you that new $200 Angora sweater, or that Gucci shoes or purse or whatever, it's not for that, boo-boo. It really isn't, in my opinion. You know, so... Think about who you are. Think about... What is your spiritual purpose for being here on this planet right now? Is it really just to sit back and do drugs and listen to rap music and, and I don't know, have sex all day? I don't think so. So let's try to remember purpose for being and follow that, you know, just like any other religion. And you always hear me say spirit is not a religion. It's not. But you add spirit to whatever religion you believe in. And you just do the right thing at the right time. I mean, there's tons of things I don't want to do. I mean, sometimes I don't feel like listening to people. I really don't feel like listening to people when they say, Call me, my number is blah, blah, blah. The phone works both ways. You're the one that needs help. Pick up the damn phone. <coughs> I don't mind talking to you for two hours, but don't leave me a personal message saying, call me with your phone number. To me, that's disrespectful. So, I helped this one little girl today not go home. I'll put it that way. And I gotta tell you, even though in the beginning I didn't want to do it because of other things that was said in an instant message. I'm really glad I did. It um, told me a lot about her. But anyway, I want you to be happy with yourself. And the only way you're going to do that is if you live in your skin and not anybody else's. You know what I mean? So let's mind our own business. Let's pay attention. Let's focus on our purpose for being all the time. All the time, not just some of the time, because some of the time you're going to miss out on your good if you only do it some of the time. You're going to miss out some of your good. You know what I mean? So I got to stop saying that. So I want you to be happy and live for yourself and realize that when mom goes, she has to face God for herself and sisters and brothers and you do too from my perspective but from my perspective I would rather 
just teach you to love yourself. Really. Because let's face it, once you love yourself, everything else pretty much kind of goes to the wayside. Because once you love yourself, all these doors will open. Everything will start making sense. As I said in past videos that you probably just don't get still. <laughs> no offense, I'm just being truthful. So, today, let's try to just be ourselves for the whole day. Say, no, I don't feel like babysitting. No, I'm not going to go back to the store and get you a Coke. No, I'm not going to, you know, whatever. Okay? So, today is the day. You start practicing being yourself. Hmm. I love you. Please love yourself. Please. And I look forward to making some healing jewelry for you. Have a beautiful day. This is Tasha L. Harris with TheAngels.us and TashasTouch.com. Thank you all. Have a beautiful evening.